Hey gang, Bill Greenberg with PhoneScholar.com. Today is Friday, January 14th, 2010. And here's what I got going on the website today. Today, I did an article. There's only one article on there, but it was a doozy. This thing took me forever. Not forever, but I'm saying it was a ton of research. So I hope you appreciate what I did. I put together probably the best comparison chart on the market right now. I need you guys to throw this all over the internet for me and get this notice. This is the one that's gonna put me on the map. I did a comparison chart and put videos on there and wrote up an article on the four Verizon LTE 4G phones plus I added the Motorola Matrix and the Verizon iPhone 4. Now, the Motorola Matrix is being announced uh, and when you talk to Motorola they're very proud of the fact that that's going to be the first dual core phone being put on the market and it's supposedly coming to AT&T first but there are rumors all over the place and even the guys at the Motorola said this is probably going to come out uh, with uh, for 4G with the other uh, Verizon phones when all the other Verizon phones hit. So that's why I put it on there. It is an amazing phone. Check out the video if you haven't seen it already. It does all kinds of things. So what I did, let me go through these real quick. So I got the HTC Thunderbolt, which I think is the best name for a phone on the market. Can you imagine what phone do you have? I got the Thunderbolt! <laughs> anyway. Uh, the LG Revolution, the Motorola Bionic, the Samsung 4G, which I'm hoping they come up with a name for it. Supposedly they got the, a model number on it. I think it's the 510 or the 520. Um, but I'm hoping they come up with a better name. The Motorola Atrix and then the Apple iPhone 4. So, all of them have one uh, gigahertz processors except for the Bionic and the Atrix, which have dual, uh, dual core one gigahertz processors. So basically they have two one gigahertz processors and what that does is for downloading for multitasking so let's say you're downloading something and you want to do something else at the same time these phones will give you the ability to do that without any drag or anything like that so really great they all have very good screens the samsung has a super amoled plus which is supposedly phenomenal the um atrix and the bionic have what's called the quarter hd screens which is a higher resolution screen and it's supposed to really help out outside in bright sunlight and stuff like that. And of course the iPhone has the, uh, the Retina screen which is phenomenal and actually does have the highest resolution out of all of them. They're all right now operating Froyo 2.2 but by the time all these launch and it's going to be anywhere from 3 to 6 months for all these, I'm going to venture to say most of them will have 2.3. Um, the Apple iPhone came up with a 4.2.5 which is yet another upgraded version from what they currently had for the AT&T phone. So again, one step further. Uh, the capacity. The Thunderbolt has an 8 gigabytes internal, but it also has a pre-installed 32 gig card. So that's pretty cool. The Revolution, the Bionic, and the Atrix all have 16 gigabytes, inter gigabytes internal uh, with a, a, slot that's a slot that can come up to 32. Excuse me, I'll slow down a little bit. The Samsung, I couldn't get the information on what the internal is, but that also has a slot for up to 32. I'm going to say it's probably 8 or 16. And of course, the iPhone, you can get an either a 16 or a 32 megabyte, a gigabyte model. Uh, the camera, the Thunderbolt, the Revolution, and the Samsung have a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera. The Bionic has a 0.3 or VGA camera, as is the Atrix and the iPhone 4. The rear cameras, uh, Thunderbolt, Bionic, Samsung all have 8 megapixel, Revolution Atrix and iPhone all have 5 megapixel. Uh, HDMI, which is kind of, that's the connection to take from your phone to a high definition TV or some kind of high definition device like a Blu-ray disc or, so, or something to that effect. Uh, the Thunderbolt has, has, uh, does not have the HDMI out. Uh, but the, every, all the other ones do, except for the iPhone 4, since it's a different format, it can hook up to the Apple TV, but it doesn't have that type of output. DLNA, which is, again, a wireless way to convert from your unit to a high-definition TV, something to that effect. Uh, Thunderbolt, Revolution, have it. Uh, the Bionic, the Atrix, and the Apple don't, and there was no information on the Samsung for that. Um, the browser, all of them have the HTML or the HTML5 and the Flash, except for the iPhone, only has the HTML. Okay, so the specialty items that I put on there, for the Thunderbolt, it has the video Skype, the video mobile Skype, which gives you mobile to mobile Skype calling anywhere to any other Skype customer anywhere in the world, which is really cool. Um, it has the HTC Sense, which gives you extra features, um, which are written in the website, in, in the article. I'm not going to go into it huge here. FM radio kickstand like the Evo, Dolby surround sound, dual mics with noise reduction. 
The Revolution ha is a Wi-Fi unit, a Wi-Fi hotspot unit. The other ones didn't mention if they're hotspot units or not. I would have to think they are, but it didn't mention it. The LG made a plan of doing it, and that can do up to eight devices, where most of the ones can only do up to five, so that's pretty cool. Um, it has NFL Mobile preloaded, so if you're a big NFL fan, that's one way to go. And the screen locks while you're talking, which is really cool. So if you have the phone up to here, and you won't accidentally touch... Sorry, you won't accidentally touch the screen and go somewhere where you don't want to while it talks, it actually locks. That's really cool. The Motorola Bionic has the mirror mode, which will allow you simultaneously to download onto your TV and onto the Bionic itself. Uh, Quick Office, which has all kinds of features for working uh, outside in an office. Uh, again, for details, go, in, go on to the article. Uh, and it also has a quarter HD display, which is a higher resolution display. The Samsung has a Samsung Social Hub and the Media Hub, which helps you with Facebook, Twitter, downloading videos, streaming videos, things like that. It's, it's, it's a pre-set up hub that really works well. Again, read the article. Uh, and it also has all the Google mobile services. Uh, Gmail, uh, Google Maps uh, are all sit uh, and uh, Google Search are all automatically downloaded into this and comes with it. The Atrix, boy, you know what, I don't know if I have enough time for this. A quarter HD display. Now, as you see in the video, you can literally plug the Atrix into a, a laptop from Motorola, and now you literally have a full-on, full-fledged Mozilla Firefox 3.6, Adobe Flash 10.1, a full-on uh, unit, a uh, laptop, without having a connection for the laptop. The phone is the connection. You can put it into a, a port and hook it up to a monitor. You can hook it up to your HDTV. It is just amazing. You gotta take a look at the video for that. It just offers so many different things. A fingerprint re uh, reader. So if you hit the top, it'll, t it'll the power button doubles out a fingerprint. So if somebody tries to turn on your phone, you can't because it has your fingerprint on there. Of course, it comes with the Moto Blur. And this one actually can shift between Android and Linux when it's in the webtop mode. When it's plugged into something, you can actually have Linux applications or use the Android applications. It is a phenomenal phone. Uh, it's Like I said, it's probably coming to AT&T in March and Verizon right after that. And of course, the iPhone 4. I didn't go into huge detail because we all know what the iPhone 4 does, but a terrific phone. So I hope you enjoy this chart. I put a ton of work into it. Like I said, please take it and throw it all over the internet for me with my name, phonescholar.com on there. So that way my name can get out there. I don't think there's another chart like this out there anywhere. Stick it on your Facebook, stick it on your Twitter for me, please. I'm going to do the same. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Have a great, great, great weekend. I will talk to you Monday. Oh, and I'm sorry, if you have any questions on this, or if there's something you haven't seen, send me questions. Blog questions at phonescholar.com, comments on the YouTube, uh, stuff like that. And to see the entire article, www.phonescholar.com. See you later.